Hi everybody, this is Joe Domaleski, KI4ASK, and we're going to talk a little bit about fox hunting. Specifically, we're going to talk about what you should do to attenuate the signal when you get close to the fox. Attenuation means dampening or lowering the signal strength. Okay, we can hear the fox. It's on 146.595 megahertz. And you can see as I turn the Yagi all the way around, we're still getting a full signal strength. So it's impossible to plot a bearing or a direction to the fox because it's equally strong in all directions. Okay, I'm pointing this way. And I'm pointing 180 degrees the opposite direction and I'm still getting a full signal strength. The next thing I usually do is change the Yagi antenna to just a whip antenna. And we're still getting a full signal strength. No matter which direction I turn, of course it's an omnidirectional antenna, but it must be close. Next thing I do is I'll remove the antenna and see if I can still hear the signal. So if I just barely take it off, you see we lose the signal there. But if I put it back on, I get the signal. So we need to do something else to attenuate this strong signal that's overloading the radio. The other thing that we can do is body blocking. That's where I hold the radio close to my body and see if getting be my body between the signal and the fox. Okay. The signal went away as I rotated away. And I'm just holding the radio close to my body so that my body blocks the signal. And as I rotate back around, I'm just holding the radio close. You can hear it. So body blocking is a good way to attenuate the signal. Okay, another way to attenuate the signal is to tighten up the squelch. Right now I've got it set to the lowest squelch level. Let me start tightening up the squelch. There, you can see the signal went away, and if I loosen it up, so adjusting the squelch level can help. All right, so let's say we've got the squelch as tight as we can get it, and we're still getting full signal. That's also a good indication that we're getting close. The other thing you can do is take the antenna off. So I'm getting a pretty good signal that direction. I'm going to turn the opposite direction, and you see I lost the signal. If I turn back around, I get a signal. So, obviously the signal must be in this direction. And I'm using the radio without an antenna. Let's see if we can pick up the signal again. Yep, there it is. I'm going to spin around. 180 degrees, lost the signal. Full signal that way. Okay, the other thing that we can do is take the radio off frequency. Right now it's on 146.595. Okay, I just reduced it. It's at 146.590. The signal strength went down a little bit, but it's still pretty strong. Okay, at this point I've totally lost the signal. And even if I rotate around. So let's keep walking in this direction here, which is where we think it might be and we'll stay off frequency and see if we can zoom in on where this fox might be. All right, we started to pick it up. Walking in this direction. Okay, we're getting a signal. The signal's going up. The other thing we can do is use a loop antenna. You can see we got a pretty good signal strength there. What happens if I rotate the loop sideways? Okay, so now we know the fox is up there. We found it just a while ago. But you see I've rotated the loop sideways and the signals are actually favor the circumference of the circle, but kind of go through the middle of the circle. 
And so using a loop antenna, you can find the null, or that is where the absence of signal is. And if I rotate it back, all right, we're picking up the signal again. And you can see the loop is favoring the direction of where the fox is. Now you might also have to use the loop antenna with a combination of body blocking because of course the circle, you don't know, it, we already knew where the fox was, but let's say we didn't know where it was and we found the knoll, but the knoll could be in front of us or behind us. So sometimes it's helpful to hold that loop close to your body and use a combination of body blocking. You can actually use a combination of all of these techniques to attenuate the signal. That is to move from the Yagi antenna to a whip antenna. You can take the whip antenna off and use no antenna. You can increase the squelch level. You can take the radio off frequency. You can use body blocking or use a combination of all of those methods to attenuate or dampen the signal. This is very helpful if you are dealing with a fox and you're in the final stages of trying to find it and the signal is just overpowering your radio. Fox hunting is a lot of fun and I hope these tips help you find the fox at your next fox hunt. So I've got another type of fox. This one just puts out milliwatts and it's on 146.575. I wanna just demonstrate a few more attenuation techniques. So you can see I've got the loop antenna pointing that direction. Uh, we're getting no signal. Let's see what happens when I rotate the loop. All right, I've rotated the loop. I've got the fox headed over there at the well again, and you can see I've got a pretty good signal there. So the same principles apply. Now this particular fox is just an open carrier. And let's go examine this little, ba we call it a baby fox. And there it is. It's actually this little chip down here, and that's a battery pack. Okay, just to demonstrate some of the other attenuation, I'm pointing right at it. You can see there's the baby fox, and I've got a full signal. If I turn away from it, I lose the signal. And again, I don't have an antenna on my ICOM R5 radio receiver, but if I face the fox again, there it is. I can also adjust the squelch level, just like we did. Okay, so I hope those tips help. When I'm doing a fox hunt, and I know I'm getting close to it, what I normally do for attenuation I'll uh, change the antenna, take the Yagi off, put a whip antenna on it, or take that off and just use the radio with no antenna. I'll tighten up the squelch. I'll take it off frequency. I'll use body blocking, usually a combination of those methods, and I can normally zero in on where the fox is. Thanks at. for watching the video in 7.3. This is KI4ASK with Max the Cat. Hello, Max. Antenna after you've plotted your blah blah blah. <laughs> frequency offset attempt. Blah, blah, blah. All right, thanks for watching the video. Hey Max, you gonna help me find the fox?